Good morning, guys. You know what? I'm gonna. Oh, I've got such bad stabbing pains in my stomach this morning. I'm just gonna put the Christmas tree lights on. <laughs> Ready? Boom! Can't really tell from the angle. I mean, I know it's daytime, but I love Christmas so much. I need to do my Boscopan injection, which is what I was trying to think of. Now I've remembered the bloody stabbing pains. Oh, right here. And it's also a fluid day and feed day. So we've got some lovely plasma light here. And then this is my current feed. It's one cal per mil, but a bit less because I do water it down just a little bit so it's so I can run it quicker, which you know probably doesn't help things, but you know what? I can only do what I can do. I, I only put 50 mils. I do 250 mils of feed to 100 mils of water, or is it 50 mils? I think it's 50. Because I literally grabbed this out the fridge and then realized there's like nothing in it. And then I just need to get my injection stuff. How cute is my IV pole? I still need to get um, what do you call it? Lights for it <laughs> for Christmas. Here we go. Injection stuff. Oh, and we need to open the calendar before I forget. <sighs> so excited. Are we really on day 12? No. <gasps> we are. Bloody hell, halfway there. Okay, I literally generally, oh, I know who it is, it's Cho. I was like, who the hell is this? I don't recognize her, but I'm pretty sure this is Cho. I'll have to Google her um, Yule ball dress, but I'm pretty sure this is her. So I feel like I should move one of the twins and put, it, put her next to Harry. I might have the twins on one side of Harry. Where the hell is Ron and Hermione at? Like, bloody hell, it's just a calendar, Amy. Breathe. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So now I've got the twins over there. Who did Cho go with? Oh, Cedric. I want Cedric. Can we just have a peek? No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. So I've got Cho and Harry because I kind of want them to be together, even though he likes Ginny. But he has a crush on Cho as well, so. And then we've got Fleur and Crumb chatting, at least until we get Hermione. Ah, it looks so good. Love it. Right, need to do my fluids and injection and all that. And I need to put my sensor on as well. So let's grab this. Today is just one of those days, people. And I really want to play Switch with the new Pokemon game, but I need to at least edit one of my vlogs before I do that. So we got some fluids and some feed. We're going at five mils an hour, uh, which is quite painful. But I have my heat pack, trusty old heat pack. I'll leave a, try and leave a link if I remember. But if you search hot pod, H-O-T-P-O-D, in Google, like hot space pod, it would come up. I got mine from Chemist Warehouse, but I know if you Google it, that you can get it from other places. So I'll pop it on screen now what it's called. Go Google that and it will come up and you can buy one. They're amazing. It's electric, it lasts for hours before it cools down and it's just so, just, it's amazing. Just go buy one. I keep getting the stabbing pains, but I'm about to do my injection and then hopefully, it won't be as painful and then I might be able to get it up to like seven or eight mils an hour, hopefully. I'm currently watching V Wars. Well, it's only got like 20 minutes left, so I'm just gonna watch the rest of this episode and then get back to editing, got my laptop there. But yeah, it's pretty good as far as vampire series goes. I wouldn't say it's better than Vampire Diaries, but uh, like the first episode or two, I was just like, oh, so predictable. Like every vampire series or film ever. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's a very different take on vampires for sure um, and there's like two different breeds and like the way that they've kind of written the story into it but yeah if you're into vampire stuff recommend if you're wondering what I've got on my lips right now it's actually like a lipstick or, or lip balm type thing I think it is a lipstick it's candy freeze by Jeffree Star and it's such a like gorgeous color it's like like really bright pink but it's on the lips it doesn't look that bright it's like a really nice shimmery i just like putting them just enough for it to be like you know a bit shimmery and more of a lip balm without looking ridiculous so i've moved the computer from my desk to the end of the bed and it's in like a little ice box whatever to keep drinks cool and then i've put one of my boxes from baxter on there so i can like kind of like watch telly in bed um, cause I've been like doing some editing, editing and thumbnails and stuff, but I wanted to lie on the bed because it's so, so comfortable and soft. And plus my batteries and stuff were going to die. So I had to plug in all my machines, but fluids have pretty much finished. Well, they have, I turned them off like half an hour early, but yeah, they're pretty much got finished and I've had a 
quite a bit of feed. I've got it up to eight mils all up, so I'm pretty proud. Um, I am doing another busking pad injection, but I've just stopped it while I go make some tea and have a little break, and then I'll set up my injection. But what I wanted to show you guys, which is the whole reason I got from my camera, is when we went to Ikea, I forgot, but we actually bought um, a like teapot. I mean, I say teapot, but it's like where you put loose leaf tea in, and then it like can brew. So it's like this glass thing. I'm trying to find somewhere to put you guys. Get it out. No, like that. That's so stupid that they put instructions in there. I'm just gonna wash this out. Ow. Just washed it out, and I'm just peeling off this massive sticker off the bottom because I feel like it makes it look stupid. So I'm gonna fill this up with some tea. I don't want to put too much in because I'm the only one that's gonna drink it, so I might only have two cups. But this one is from a shop. We have a shop in Australia called Tea Two, which you guessed it, it's a tea shop. This one is strawberries and cream, and it smells. Bloody amazing. Yeah, I'm not really sure how much I should put in. Oh, it smells so good. So I've put about that much in, which was maybe like th three teaspoons. And I probably, I reckon one normal cup would be like two at least. Maybe I'll do one extra one. Kettle's just been boiled. Ooh, oh my gosh, you guys are missing it. But as it's pouring, it's like turning pink. And then, pop the lid on. I'm just gonna let that brew for a little bit before I pour a cup through. Also, quickly, because I'm about to go off and do something. You guys know I'm not a big fan of like tea that isn't like English breakfast tea. And that's mo mainly because that's just what I grew up drinking and to Eng I, most English people don't like, like tea tea. It must be good if I'm recommending it because you guys know I'm not a big fan of tea that isn't like English breakfast is what I meant. But I do have quite a few teas in here. I need to start drinking some of them. Then again, maybe not because I want our pantry to feel like it's got food in it and it's not just like empty and bare. So maybe I won't drink all of the teas. But anyway, I'm going to let that stew for a bit and then I'll come back and pour a glass. So this is literally going to be so satisfying. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm about to do my Freestyle Libra sensor because I've literally been saying I'm going to do it all day. Haven't had a chance yet. However, I'm going to put it on my stomach this time. Um, I normally put it on my arm, but recently it's just been so like itchy. Like My arms get like really itchy because of like having the patches and I have to keep swapping sides and that's pretty much where I put my sensor. So we're going with my tummy this time and if it stays, I've only done it on my stomach once before and it was fine. If it stays well, I think I'll just put it there more often. I follow a couple of quite large um, Instagram accounts that like diabetic ones that use this sensor and they always seem to put it on their stomach at least like the couple ones that I'm following so I know it can be put there um, and then on there's like a little like, information thing and it, and it says in there like the places that you can put it and the stomach is one of them like it doesn't say you can't put it there yeah it just says the best place is to put it here but you can put it thigh tummy like the fatty bits basically so that's what we're gonna do so it's pretty much ready to Oh, no, I haven't. Did I press it in? Oh no, yep, it's all ready. It's loaded. My tummy's all bruised, so I think I might go this side. Oh, yeah, we'll go this side. I'm really bloated at the moment, so just... <laughs> that's why it looks so round, so... Clean it. Maybe about here. Ready? One, two, three. I always hold it a few seconds until the pain, because the pain of the needle going in, and then, like, I'll just let it settle, and then... Really? And then I figured if it does start peeling up, because it's got like a little adhesive around it, I'll just pop some tegadum over the top. Just gonna activate the sensor. To do that, you just say start new sensor. You can see. Start new sensor. Is this one? Click it. You hear Tom whistling. Scan it. 60 minutes until it can be used. It used to be longer, like it used to be 24 hours, like when I first started using the sensors like a year and a bit ago, but they changed it to 60 minutes. It's been 60 minutes for a while now. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated on that situation. And I've run a fair bit of feed. I know it doesn't really look like it, but the bottle has a, like the bottle gets like squeezed up as you like have it so it makes it look like you haven't had any because it gets like sucked up but anyway yeah sense applied gotta do my basket pad injection i feel like i've been saying that all day it's just it's time for another injection three a day oh i hate them so much i really want to put them like in my line like i can do that but i really don't want to have to put anything in my line like if it's unnecessary and by that i mean 
it's not, you know, 100% necessary to put it down my line. So if I can inject it, I'm going to inject it. Oh, I'm so tired. Ooh. Good morning, guys. It's This is like the earliest I've been up in a long time. I've been up since half, half five, pretty much. Anyway, it's now, what is the time? Half past seven. We just got the chocolate calendars out the fridge. Tom's eating his. So I had like two of them. The first one was like, it's basically when chocolate's like been open or exposed to air for a long period that it can go like this. Like, I've seen it happen to chocolate before, but I thought, oh, it would just be the one chocolate that we opened. Remember I tried to open it and it was like too melted, so I had to put it in the fridge. So I thought, oh, it's just that chocolate. Open the next day. It's the same thing. So let me show you. This kind of asks too many questions to my liking. <laughs> they have like little questions on the doors. Anyway, I took out the calendar bit and I don't know if you can see, I might have to show you on the bed. But like the chocolates have gone like a white colour, like compared to like Tom's. I don't know if you can see, there's the like pale white colour. Maybe it's mould. It's not mould. Yeah, this is not a good example, but the other chocolates he's had were all like proper, like nice. Eat it. Get in there. Chew. And swallow. <laughs> Don't! I actually thought you were choking. Panic me, mum. Let's see the next one. Yeah, see, that one looks better. See how it's not white at all? What's that supposed to be? An octopus thing? An octopus? I highly doubt that. What's it supposed to be? Let me see. Bloody reindeer. Is it? Yeah, look. See the antlers at the top? Nah. There. Dead now. Anyway, I'm not eating these because they are gross. I'm trying to find one that maybe looks okay, but they all look a bit white and dodge. Like some more than others, like these two. Can you juggle three men's pies? Oh, yeah, this is going to end badly, isn't it? <laughs> you imagine if people actually... I mean, they're meant for kids, right? Mom! I made three men's pies! That's what I mean, like, a kid could be like, Oh, Mom, we could have mince pies. So I was trying to juggle them. I don't know. Just that girl on the floor. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> I went a bit far back. <laughs> With drooling around on the tonsils. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, guys, uh, it's the next morning now. I just wanted to uh, end the vlog because I forgot to do it because I like, fell asleep before I had a chance to end it. So, if you enjoyed yesterday's vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you all today. Well, tomorrow if you're, you know, if you're watching that vlog, but today for me. So, good night, guys. Or good morning. Wherever you are. Whatever time it is in the world, I hope you have a good day or good night. Love you guys.